What's up everybody, my name is the Optional Kai and today we are going to be playing Untitled. Now, the description of the game said that this game is supposed to be immersive and that um, it's it's not really that scary, like jump scares, it's not that kind of scary, it's like heartfelt scary. And um, it the the description, I'll even put it in the in the description of my of the video of what it literally says. I'm pretty sure it says like it exper it experience experiments with a controversial subject, so I don't know what they mean by that. So it's a it's an adventure for both of us. Wandering among us the wilderness of your life, you're lighted a balance where where was a den. Laying down your restlessness, delving for sleep, you did and slept. Interesting. It's a very oddly worded fine by me. I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh. Oh, there. Whoa, okay. Oh, that motion blur, though. Oh, hello. Aw, cute. Block. Oh, zoom, okay. Block. Can I not pick- oh, what is that, actually? That. Note reads, rebuilding stars one step at a time. What? What about that? As the tales of life continues to craft itself, our fate my, may seem uncertain, but the nature of uncertainty is, is it will never be crafted once the same. Alrighty. That was very confusing. A heart of water is not the same as a heart of blood. Is that what that is? Ooh, okay. A chair. Thank you. Oh, I fucking hate that. It's eerie. No, look, that's cute. Oh, that's adorable. That's that's also adorable in some way. Do I have a baby? Oh no, baby crib. I have nothing left to offer. Oh. Oh, a muffin, cuppy cake, or an ice cream cone, actually. Ice cream. I'll go with ice cream. What is that? Oh, it's an ultrasound of a baby. Turn on radio. Wait, I don't have a baby. What? I don't have a baby, though. Why, 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 why didn't I ask for this? I didn't need this. I don't know what to do. It happened every time I shut my eyes, looking back at me from darkness. I left with no other choice. I'm left with no other choice. <laughs> then, but to suffer through it, it's torture. I didn't want for it to end that way, but I had no other option. All right, cool. So what do I do now? A heart picture. Okay, do I go out the same door? Ouch! Jesus Christ! <laughs> that that door just smacked me in the face. Oh Jesus! <laughs> My step scared the crap out of me. All right, what do we got here? Oh, the door's already closed. Jesus, I have a flashlight. With hands drenched in blood and a heart- I'm crying because I'm scared. A heart soaked in burdens. The only thing for sure is life must continue. It must. Alright, are the pictures scary now? No, the pic- oh, the pictures are upside down. Hello, Mr. Block. Oh. Black and cold like nightfall are the bony hands that come and take you. There are notes in the ground. I feel like my life has been an open door, endless with potential. Now that door is be beginning to shut, and I'm too weak to o hold it open. Broken un ultrasound picture. Aww. The world is collapsing on my shoulders, and I don't have the strength to hold it up. Wait, so is the controversial subject like, like, team parents? Is, is that what I'm getting? Three sides. 
It's a triangle. It's a poorly drawn triangle. But ooh, you started moving. I don't like that. Wait, can I is there something in the crib? Baby. Yo. Three sides. Coat hangers. I'm smart. That's a heartbeat. That's a heartbeat. I don't like it. Jesus! Ah! Don't do that! Oh my god, what are you? Are you nothing? Are you not gonna come at me or whatever? Oh. That animation though. Oh. Excuse me? This is my house. How dare you write on my walls? What are you, four? Breathe one's last. Um, what is that? Rise from dust. Succumb to death. Giving up. Rest in pieces. I mean, rest in peace. <laughs> um. Originating. Rising. At dawn. Was born. Be no. Be no move. Be no more. Be no more. Um. Spouting plant. Cough forth. Departing. What are you? Interactive depiction? Depiction? What? Oh. Oh. Oh! Home sweet home. Did I do this to myself? Jesus Christ, I'm sadistic. What the hell happened? Oh. No, nothing. Oh, there's a note. There's a note. There's a note. Home sweet home. Fantastic. What is that? Oh, that's a razor. Ah, so I... Oh, God. I have the chills. Can I get out of here? Oh, Jesus. I can open the door? Where's my security officer? I shouldn't be... Why do I have a flashlight? really quiet and I don't like it oh hell no I don't like this okay I'll tell you right now I don't like this this is not good long hallways no no oh <laughs> not a long hallway semi long hallway <laughs> longer hallway bigger room bad idea it just spits bad idea everywhere oh there's notes everywhere <gasps> it's a touch esoteric pyramid can I read the notes first I'm gonna read the notes first. One, two. Okay. Two. Two, two, two. Two, two. No, not two, two, two. Two, two. And two, three. Alright, so what do I do with this? What? Oh, Jesus! What? I am confused. What is happening? Oh. Being born. Living. Dying. Born. Lives. Dies. Was born. Lived. Died. What does that say? Omens Dep Mortai. Did these not say anything? Oh, they cleaned up my- they rearranged my cell. I don't like that. It's bad. Alrighty then. Let's just keep going on. And on and on and on and on. Oh. So I don't know what's happening. If you guys understand what's happening, hopefully it tells me at the end what the hell is happening. Because I don't understand what's happening. Step towards the lost binary. The lost binary. Let me see if the, these notes have changed. One, two. Lost binary. And that's two, three. That should be two, two. Oh. Two, two. Oh. Under semi litude. Hands drenched. Broken triangle. Qu 
questions. Why? I don't know. Who are you? A child it was to be. Forsaken, not forgot. Okay. Um. Uh. Right or wrong. It didn't get to play. Bruised knuckles. Sounds like a. These sound like. These all sound like rock band names for a song. Um. Lighted sleep. Beaten and broken. Forced. See? Like I said. Ev this whole hallway. This whole hallway should be just. You know what? I'll use the use these names. If you're a rock kind of guy, you know, use these names to make a song. Use these names to make a song. Those are legitimate. Oh, oh, pretty room. I like the color. Oh, pretty. Oh hell no! You closed on me, son of a bitch. Oh hell no. That's just not gonna work for me. Does the god complex always win? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it does. There's no choice about that. The God Complex always wins. He's supposed to be immortal and everything else. Three pages. Oh shit, I didn't even look around. Am I supposed to read pages? I, so far, I'm not scared. I'm just confused beyond my mind. What? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Waking up, you feel twigs and leaves pushing against your back. Breathing in the cool, thick air, the vivid aroma of the outdoors fill your nostrils, opening your drowsy eyes. You gaze upon evergreen trees towering towards the heavens above, pulling your tense and motionless body upwards from the moist forest floor. Rays of moonlight flood your vision as they shoot through the misty fog. Beginning to trudge along the debris-covered soil, Crickets chirp softly from the distance. I'm feeling a meager protest from your stomach. You continue moving, thinking to yourself, Where are you? How did you get here? Why are you here? Searching the deep dwelling of your mind, you are realizing something. You don't know who you are. Who are you? No! Grabbing onto you and waking you from the thoughts of your mind, a distant and eerie cry is heard. Wandering towards the cry, you feel uneasy of the impending sound reaching it. You nervously look- I can't even read this correctly because I'm so scared. Nervously look upon a bundle of fabric laying amongst the twigs. Picking up the bundle, your curious run runs wild. Curiosity runs wild. Peering inside, you're shocked, seeing it's a young baby left desolate in the depths of the woods. It's happened before. Beginning to nature the young child, the air quickly becomes overcome with the relief coolness. The relative coolness. As the fog around you begins to thicken, the forest darkness increases. Being that the child has since calmed, you begin searching for a way to escape the mysterious forest. Noticing a figure from afar, you start to make your way towards it for help. That is not a thing you do, my, my, my young one. You don't do that. Upon getting closer, upon getting closer, you see it. It is faceless figure, vague of a human feature and expression. Feeling, fearing for the child's safety and your own, you look to see if the child is okay. Where is the child? Where did the child go? What child? What? I'm confused. I don't like it. Looking back up towards the figure, you see it has since vanished, leaving you alone once more. The fog continues to surround you even more so. Distraught and rushing to escape, you eventually find a door is encased in the side of an oak tree. With hopes of escape, you reach your hand towards the handle of the door and... Entering into the door, you are greeted with a somewhat cozy and uneasy den. Hundreds of untitled books line the wall to your left and relaxing fireplace to your right. Striking your attention, you see a small pile of papers upon a pedestal. Just above which three ambiguous pictures line the wall. A spouting plant, a tree, a dead trump, a dead trump, a dead stump, and all silhouettes. Making your way to the paper, you pick them up and begin to read the first line. Wake up. What has happened? What is going on? I've woken up again. Oh, I'm back. 
Okay, so that's a little tree. That's a living tree. That's a tree that does not exist anymore. The door unlock. <laughs> oh! My god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That scared the living crap out of me. Oh my god! <laughs> Ow. Ow. That hurt, you jack. That was not fair. Okay. Jesus Christ. The child. Hey. Oh no. Oh, that's disgusting. Did you? Oh, that's disgusting. Is it what I think it is? Oh, my stomach is churning. Wake up. Oh, that is nasty. Uh. <coughs> uh. Uh. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Uh. For with that you w awoke, for it was all but a mere dream, driven by the madness of your own consciousness. Every day, thousands of potential children are ripped from their warm, cozy shelters and given to the waiting hands of death, as pregnant mothers are forced into having abortions for various reasons, raging from financial difficulties, social pressure, and even threats from loved ones. Our media turns it back against them and ignorantly calls them selfish and sick, even when they suffer deep emotional distress from what they were given no choice to do. Like holding a gun to someone's head, our society has adapted to pulling the trigger without considering the inevitability of harmful consequences. This, my first game, is made and dedicated to those who suffer with these everyday battles. Thanks for, play thanks for playing Black Parable. Damn. I was... That was... Oh my god. I was making so much fun of the game. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna be those cheap horror games. I'm so sorry. I feel like such an asshole now. I am so sorry to anyone that has gone through this. I did not mean to make fun of a game that was dedicated to you guys. I am... I, like, like I told you, this is the first time I've ever played this game, I've never played it before, so I wasn't sure, and, you know, the description said untitled, everything starts untitled, so I didn't know, I'm sorry. Jesus, this... This game, man, it hit me hard, that was so nasty what I saw, I saw the coat hangers and I was like, oh hey, triangle, I'm, I'm smart. No, that's not what it meant, it was subliminally telling that it was abortion, that was... That was disgusting, man. That... Oh, God. I'm so... I'm so pro-choice. Like, if you want to do it, you know, go ahead. Oh, my God. I feel like a... I feel like an asshole. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>